Hey everyone, I first want to apologize. It's been about a week since I last uploaded a video and I hate, I hate leaving that long of amount of time in between uploading videos. I always try to do at least two videos a week and more if I can. Um, and I assume that you guys want to see more, more is better, so I apologize. Um, if you've been following me on Instagram and watching my Instagram story, you know that I had sort of last minute surgery, nothing major, healing very well, but it prevented me from going out and doing stuff really this weekend and just being mobile. So I wanted to film a video for you tonight, just something easy and quick, but something that I know I always get a lot of comments and questions about, and that is what video and filming equipment I use and what do I take with me when I travel in terms of camera gear. So I have quickly set up most of the stuff that I usually take with me when I travel here on my bed and I'll go through each individual item and talk to you about why I take it when I do and what it is. So let's start over here and then sort of go clockwise. This as you may know is a DJI Mavic drone. I just got this last week. This is a controller for it and I'm so excited about it because as you can see it is tiny. It is small. This is the camera I used to use to vlog, and you can see next to it just how small the drone is. I've only been able to really fly with this thing once so far this last weekend, but I love it. I'm in love with it so far. I'm looking forward to shooting more here in New York City, but also traveling more with this guy. So going up from here, the Mavic and the Mavic controller, we have my Zoom H1, and this is just, let me take off the puff here, this is just a sound recorder. An inexpensive but really great sound recorder. I don't always take this me with me when I'm traveling, but I do use it when I'm recording live events. I can record into it um, using my Rode video mic, and it's just really great. And next to it is my old vlogging camera. This is a Canon S110, an amazing starting starter vlogger camera. Um, I got it for like $130 on Craigslist. I love this thing, and I take it with me when I travel as a backup camera in case this camera the Sony RX100 Mark IV is stolen or broken or whatever, batteries die, I have this guy as a backup. And attached to it is this. This is the Joby, um, I don't even remember what it's called, but this little tiny thing, you can see how slim it is. I would leave this on here all the time. It was great, I loved it. But I can't put it on this camera because it blocks, <laughs> it, when, I, when it's on, it blocks the battery port. And I change my batteries all the time, so. It lives on this camera now. Going up is this. This is the easy gimbal. I don't always take this with me when I travel as well, but it's essentially just a gimbal for the GoPro, just the GoPro. Um, it's pretty big, so I use it as much as possible, but it's not something I always travel with because it's not easy to travel with. It's sort of bulky, but it's nice to have. Next in line is my GoPro Hero 4 Black. You can see it's a little beat up, but that's because I use it. And it's attached to the Evo, this, I like this pole initially because it's waterproof, it floats on its own, and it's clear. So it's not as obtrusive if it's in the frame. It's got like a nice little wrist strap and stuff, but I really like this. My Hero 4 Black always goes with me, always goes when I travel, uh, as well as a number of accessories, different mounts and things like that. So essential for me. Next here is a power solution. This was made by Quirky, I believe, but you can see it's got two, two ports in the back, one there and it's pretty long, I think it's like six feet or something, but I love this thing, because if I'm sitting in a hostel, I can just plug this in and plug in all my chargers to this, and I'm good to go. And next to that is my Rode video mic. This is just the normal video mic, it's not the video mic pro or the go, um, so it's powered, it's got its own like shock mount, liar shock mount built in. Sound quality's great, I don't always travel with this uh, as well because I don't have the need to record high quality audio um, all the time on my trips, but that is definitely in my kit and something I have at my disposal. So next up, you're probably asking yourself, what is this? This is just a sort of hard top, but soft camera case. And right now there's not a whole lot in here. You can see there are two spots for GoPros. This is my old GoPro Hero 3 white edition. Um, but I got a lot of other stuff in here like this time-lapse timer, a suction cup thing. Um, this, well, I'll talk about this in a second, but I like this case a lot because it's got a lot of space for just random stuff. It's all padded, 
It's got space up here, and it fits in my bag quite nicely. It's a little bit big sometimes to take with, but if I can fit all of my gear in here, my camera stuff, at least the smaller stuff, it keeps it all organized. So, going back to this, this is actually just the case for the Amaran M9, which is up here. <laughs> this is a little light that is uh, illuminating everything right here, but I love this thing. Let me see if I can turn it for you. You can see how tiny that thing is. It's dimmable. It's got uh, little dimmer things on here. And um, it's got uh, magnets in this little diffuser, so you can put different gels and diffusers and things like that in there. It's awesome. It's really awesome, super portable. I love it. And it lives in my kit as well. Next to my go pole type thing um, is my Joby Gorillapod. This is getting old. These legs are getting loose. I would love to replace this with a bendy pod that's made by my friend Jehu. Um, click there if you want to check that out. He makes an alternative to this. It's not quite as flexible, but it's way stronger, way more long lasting, and I think cooler looking. But this goes with me everywhere. This is my tripod solution. I don't take a big tripod, even a travel tripod. I take this, and it's great. It's got a little ball head on the top. I spent like $10 on the ball head. It's great. I have a smaller version of that. Not quite as strong, but it's great for holding that light, the Amaran, or my cell phone, or something like that. And next to that is this big battery. This is a 12,000 milliamp hour battery. So this can charge my phone a number of times. It can charge this camera because this camera can charge via USB. Great addition, Sony. It can charge this camera a number of times if I need to. And it can charge anything, GoPro, via USB. And it's got tons of capacity, but I think I want to replace it with something larger soon. And last, but certainly not least, is this. Looks weird, right? Hard case, it's waterproof. This is essential. It's a case for my memory cards. These are not all the memory cards I have, but <laughs> it's a lot of them. You can see I have many, many, many gigs of storage in here. I don't edit vlogs while I'm out traveling. Um, I wait and edit them later when I get home. And so having lots of storage is essential. And this thing is great because it's super rugged, it's waterproof, and I don't have to worry about it breaking, um, I can clip it on something if I need it. It organizes my memory cards, it's great. And Pelican makes one of those. This is an off-brand one that I got for about half the price, and I love it. Definitely recommend it. One more thing I almost forgot. My cell phone. This is essential, not only for communication and navigation while traveling, but this is my second most used camera. It can shoot 4K, it can shoot slow-mo, it can stream, it can take time lapses, it can do tons of stuff. And it's great that it's always in my pocket. So cell phone, essential in the travel camera gear stuff. And that's pretty much it. Obviously this doesn't account for the bag that I carry all this stuff in, all the extra batteries and chargers. This was mostly just the essential gear that I will take with me traveling or use to shoot here around New York City. I will leave links to everything I have here in the description. So if you're curious about uh, anything that I have um, that I featured and maybe you want to check it out more or buy one for yourself, there will be links in the description below. So if you are thinking about buying any of this stuff, please use those links in the description. It helps me out and you know, it doesn't cost you anything extra. Um, if you have any questions about any of this stuff or uh, you know, anything. Leave it in the comments below. If you're not subscribed, please do so. I've got big plans coming in March or April. Scott, who I traveled to Cuba with, and I are meeting up this weekend to discuss traveling to another country, to another continent. So stay tuned. More information on that and more adventures coming up soon. I promise. I appreciate you guys sticking around. Subscribe if you're not. And uh, as always, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.